As all know the fall detector system is very useful for older people. This is because it can notify the individual or family member when it detects a fall and reduces the risk of delay in medical attention. So in today's tutorial, we are going to build an IoT fall detector using MPU6050. Node MCU ESP8266 and Blink application. The MPU6050 sensor module has a built-in gyroscope and an accelerometer sensor. The gyroscope is used to determine the orientation, and the accelerometer provides information about the angle, such as X, Y, and Z axis data. How this whole system works? This program first checks if the accelerometer value is higher than the lower threshold. If so, then it waits for half a second and checks for higher thresholds. If the accelerometer value exceeds the upper threshold, then it calculates the change in orientation for the gyroscope values. When there is a sudden change in orientation, it waits for 10 seconds and checks if the orientation remains the same. If so, the fall detector activates the notification and send email to the provided email address. So, without doing any delay, let's get into this. These are the components required for the IoT fall detector system. Node MCU ESP8 to 66 board, MPU 6056 axis gyroscope and accelerometer sensor, breadboard and jumper wires, interfacing MPU 6050 sensor with Node MCU ESP8 to 66. The circuit diagram for IoT fall detector is provided here. The MPU 6050 works on the I to C protocol. So we only need to wires to interface the node MCU and the MPU6050. The SCL and SDA pins of the MPU6050 are connected to the D1 and D to pins of the node MCU. While the VCC and GND pins of the MPU6050 are connected to the 3.3 volt and ground pin of node MCU. Blink IoT Cloud Setup for IoT Fall Detector I have done many projects related to IoT with the Blink application and designed many apps before. In this session, I am designing IoT-based fall detector app, so make sure you download and install the Blink app from Play Store or App Store. First of all, open the Blink application. Click on the Create a New Project and enter the project name as IoT Fall Detector, but you can type any name. You can change the name later. Click on Choice Tools and select Node MCU ESP8266. Make sure the connection type is set to Wi-Fi. Finally, click on the Create button. A verification token will be sent to your email ID, which will be used in the program code. Click plus icon on the screen and search for the notification and email widget. Add them to your Blink app. Now the application for IoT fall detection is ready to use. Note, when you have finished all the Blink IoT cloud connection parts, let's go to the programming part to ensure your Blink authentication token. Wi-Fi SSID and password are correct. When you have finished all these parts, be sure to select the correct COM port and board for uploading the code. The explanation of this program code is done in the web link provided in the description. Testing IoT Fall Detector using MPU6050 and Node MCU. To test the project, take the MPU6050 in your hand and pretend to be walking slowly, and then suddenly drop it down as shown in the video. If the magnitude exceeds the threshold value, the device activates the Fall Detector event and sends a notification to the Blink app and email to the registered email address. So that's pretty much for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed creating your IoT fall detector using MPU6050 sensor. If you did, don't forget to share this article. Want help? Let me know in the comments section below.